If you want to find and manage sound settings on Motorola Edge 60 Pro, all you need to do is go to settings. Over here in the settings, we can scroll down just a little bit in order to find sound and vibration. First, we have the not disturb section where we can find the DND mode itself, which can be enabled and disabled. We can also uh, customize the DND mode. Besides that, we have two gestures, flip for DND, which allows you to flip the phone upside down in order to automatically enable the not disturb mode and there is also pick up to silence which allows you to silence the ringtone when you have an incoming call by simply picking up the phone then we have five sliders for volume so we have the media loudness over here we can also adjust the call volume level the ringtone volume notification volume and of course the alarm volume there is also the media output selection. It is called audio will play on. And over here, if you have other devices connected to your phone, you can switch uh, between them in order to choose what um, device should be used in order to play media. Besides that, we have multi-volume option, which allows you to control individual volumes of multiple apps. It can also automatically mute apps that you always manually mute. And there is also the auto mute option, by the way. Let's go back. Now we have ringtone and sound section where we can change the ringtone for your SIM card or SIM cards depending on the version, whether you had European or a global version, etc. Uh, besides that, we have the option to change the notification sound, the alarm sound, and some various sounds that can be triggered when something happens, such as the dial pad tones, which is for dialing keypad the screen locking sounds, the tap and click sounds, and of course the screenshot sounds. So if you want to mute any of them, then of course you have the option to do so over here. Then we have vibration section where we have settings for vibration and haptics, where we can customize and adjust the intensity of various vibration. And there is also the option that allows you to always show the vibrate mode icon that we have over here at the top so if you often use the vibrate mode and you wish to know when it is actually activated then you can have this icon visible over here besides that there is one more sound the charging sound and vibration which is the sound that the phone makes when you start charging the phone when you connect it to the power adapter there is also Dolby Atmos, which can be toggled over here. However, if you use loudspeakers, then Dolby Atmos is always enabled and you cannot turn it off. You can tap on the setting icon over here on the bottom left side in order to find Dolby Atmos settings in which you can, for example, customize the equalizer, the audio equalizer. We have some presets and some additional options. Besides Dolby Atmos, there is also Crystal Talk AI, which for some reason, in my case, it is um, disabled. There is also the media section where you can pin a media player and you can also show assistant media recommendations. So if you are annoyed um, by them, then you can turn them off over there. Media controls where we can use volume buttons in order to go to the next or previous track. However, this uh, functionality uh, that is assigned to these volume buttons, if this option is enabled, works only if the screen is off. And finally, the live caption, which is pretty much accessible on every Android smartphone nowadays. And that's about it. These are all sound and vibration settings. Besides that, of course, we can also switch between different ringer modes. That is the normal mode, vibrate mode and the silence mode. So if you want to use any of them, you can either press one of the volume buttons in order to switch over here or you can go to the control center in order to find the ringer mode somewhere over here. In my case, I have this button. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe.